Did you ever wonder when and where the first metro train started its journey? It's a tale that takes us back to the heart of the Industrial Revolution, to the bustling city of London in the year of 1863. The city was growing at an unprecedented pace, its streets congested with horse-drawn carriages and pedestrians alike. The need for a more efficient means of transport was pressing. Enter the world's first metro train, conceived and built not just out of necessity, but as a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. The idea was met with skepticism and resistance. Critics argued it was impossible to tunnel beneath the city's foundations without causing catastrophic collapse. Yet brave engineers and labourers proved them wrong. Armed with little more than shovels and pickaxes, they undertook the mammoth task of carving out the world's first underground railway line. The challenges were enormous. Workers toiled in conditions of poor light and ventilation, sometimes even risking their lives. But their grit and determination paid off. On January 10, 1863, the first metro train, a steam-powered marvel, chugged out of Paddington Station, much to the awe of onlookers. It carried passengers along a four-mile stretch to Farringdon, forever changing the face of public transportation. The impact was immediate and profound. The metro train eased the city's congestion, providing a reliable, quick and efficient means of transport. It transformed the way people moved around, reshaping the city's social and economic landscape. It was a revolution on rails, a testament to human progress, and a symbol of the unstoppable march of technology. In the years that followed, the metro train concept spread across the globe, from Paris to New York, from Tokyo to Moscow. Each new metro system was a tribute to that first daring venture beneath the streets of London, a testament to the enduring power of human innovation. Thus, the first metro train, a steam-powered one, took its first journey in London, marking a new era in public transportation. From steam to electricity, the metro trains have come a long way, haven't they? The transition from steam-powered to electric trains marked a significant turning point in the history of transportation. This change didn't happen overnight, but rather as a result of decades of innovation and engineering brilliance. In the late 19th century, steam-powered trains were the kings of the railway. They chugged along tracks, connecting cities and towns, and moving people and goods like never before. But steam trains had their limitations. They were slow, unwieldy, and produced a lot of smoke and soot which made them less than ideal for densely populated urban areas. Enter the electric train. In the early 20th century, engineers began experimenting with electricity as a power source for trains. And it wasn't long before the first electric metro trains began to appear. London, the city that had introduced the world's first underground railway, was once again at the forefront of innovation, introducing its first electric metro train in 1900. The advantages of electric trains were immediately evident. They were faster and more efficient than their steam-powered counterparts. They didn't spew out smoke or soot, making them a better fit for bustling cities. And they were quieter, which was a significant advantage in urban areas where noise pollution was becoming a concern. But the benefits of electric trains went beyond speed, efficiency and noise reduction. They also had a considerable impact on the environment. Electric trains didn't require coal or wood for fuel, which meant fewer trees were cut down and less coal was mined. Moreover, by eliminating the smoke and soot produced by steam trains, electric trains helped to reduce air pollution. The transition to electric power was a game changer for metro trains. It allowed them to become an integral part of city life, providing a reliable, efficient and environmentally friendly mode of transport for millions of people every day. The evolution from steam to electric power not only increased the speed and efficiency, but also made metro trains a more environmentally friendly option. Metro trains are not just a mode of transport, they are a reflection of the city's culture and progress. Isn't it fascinating? Let's embark on a journey around the world, hopping from one metro system to the next, starting with the New York City subway. This intricate network of steel and concrete, weaving its way through the city that never sleeps, is one of the oldest and most extensive metro systems in the world. It's a testament to New York's ceaseless hustle and the city's relentless pursuit of progress. Crossing the Atlantic, we arrive at the Paris Metro. With its iconic Art Nouveau entrances and charmingly compact carriages, the Paris Metro is as much a cultural icon as it is a transportation system. 
It's a rolling tribute to the City of Light's love affair with art and design, mirroring the city's elegance and its quintessentially Parisian joie de vivre. Let's jet over to the land of the rising sun, where the Tokyo Metro awaits. Known for its punctuality that can rival a Swiss watch, the Tokyo Metro reflects the Japanese culture of respect for time and discipline. It's not just a train system, but a mirror of the city's commitment to efficiency and the Japanese spirit of omotenashi, or hospitality, ensuring every passenger's journey is smooth and comfortable. From the hustle of New York, the charm of Paris, to the discipline of Tokyo, each metro system carries the imprint of its city. They are more than just steel rails and rumbling carriages. They are the pulse of the city, the rhythm of daily life, and the narrative of the city's past, present, and future. Each metro system, with its unique features, tells a story about its city and its people. So next time you hop on a metro train, remember, you're not just commuting, you're partaking in a city's culture, history, and its journey towards progress. Isn't that something to marvel at? In the world of high-speed bullet trains and maglevs, where do metro trains stand? A question that perhaps crosses the mind of any modern commuter. Well, the answer is, right at the forefront of cutting-edge technology. Metro trains of today are not just about getting from point A to B. They represent the zenith of engineering prowess and a testament to human ingenuity. A prime example is the advent of driverless trains. Can you imagine hopping onto a train with no driver at the helm? It's not science fiction anymore, it's a reality in some of the world's most advanced cities. These autonomous trains use sensors and complex algorithms to navigate tracks safely, efficiently, and with remarkable precision. They've been adopted in cities like Copenhagen, Singapore and Dubai, to name just a few. The benefits are manifold. They increase efficiency, reduce human error, and can operate round the clock, offering a seamless transit experience for passengers. But let's not stop there. We're also seeing the emergence of maglev metro trains. That's right. Magnetic levitation, the same technology that powers some of the world's fastest bullet trains, is now being used for metro systems. These trains float above the track, propelled by magnetic force, reducing friction and allowing for smoother, quieter and faster rides. Shanghai, for instance, has adopted this technology for its metro system, treating its passengers to a futuristic and efficient commuting experience. The benefits are clear faster travel times, reduced noise pollution and less wear and tear on tracks and trains alike. So you see, metro trains are not being left behind in the dust of bullet trains and maglevs. They're evolving, adapting and incorporating the very best of technology to serve us better and make our daily commutes more convenient, comfortable and efficient. With advancements like driverless trains and maglevs, metro trains are keeping pace with the rapidly evolving world of transportation. We might just be standing at the threshold of a new era in metro train evolution. What does the future hold for metro trains? A question that intrigues engineers, designers and train enthusiasts alike. As we look to the horizon, the future of metro trains is not only exciting, but also promises to revolutionize the way we traverse our urban landscapes. Picture this, you're in a pod, zooming through a vacuum tube at speeds exceeding 500 miles per hour. That's the concept of the Hyperloop, a futuristic mode of transport that could redefine the meaning of metro train. This technology, still in its development phase, uses magnetic levitation to propel pods through a low pressure environment reducing air resistance and enabling unprecedented speeds. Imagine crossing entire cities or even countries in mere minutes. The Hyperloop could make this a reality, although there are significant engineering and safety challenges yet to be overcome. Now, let's shift our focus to another promising development, green energy-powered trains. In a world increasingly conscious of its carbon footprint, the shift towards renewable energy sources is more important than ever. Trains powered by green energy, such as solar or wind power, offer a sustainable alternative to traditional diesel-powered locomotives. These trains not only reduce harmful emissions, but also promise to be more cost-effective in the long run. But as with any groundbreaking technology, there are hurdles to overcome. The infrastructure for green energy is still in its infancy, and the initial investment for green-powered trains is high. Yet, the potential benefits to our environment and economy make these challenges worth tackling head-on. In conclusion, the future of metro trains is a thrilling journey of innovation and sustainability. With advancements like the Hyperloop and green energy-powered trains on the horizon, 
we're on the precipice of a transportation revolution. These developments promise to make metro trains an even more integral part of our cities, playing a key role in creating sustainable, efficient and connected urban environments. The future of metro trains looks promising with advancements like Hyperloop and green energy, making them an even more crucial part of sustainable urban living.